Hello students. In this tutorial, in this video, we're going to take a look at the question, what is a spreadsheet? Now you're taking a course called Introduction to Spreadsheets, so it would be fitting for us to take a few minutes in the beginning to actually discuss or take a look at what a spreadsheet actually is. I would imagine most of you are taking the course having some understanding of what one is, um, otherwise it would be very curious as to um, what you were intending to learn, but uh, we are going to take a couple minutes just to take a look at what a spreadsheet looks like and some of the things that you can do with it. As we progress through the course, we are going to look at some of the different types of spreadsheets that are out there, or specifically the different programs that are out there that allow you to maintain a spreadsheet. But for now, we're just going to take a look at a generic spreadsheet and see what it is that we can do with it and what it looks like. On the screen for the last minute, you have been looking at a spreadsheet. What you're seeing is what is known as a Google Sheet. Google, through a Google Drive, has the ability to create a Google Sheet. And it's called Google Sheet because it's a spreadsheet. Another popular program is Microsoft Excel, which you may have or have seen. That is also a spreadsheet application. Uh, it is a commercial offering, which means you have to pay for it, and in many cases it's fairly expensive. A Google Sheet is free, and you're going to see me utilize this most often in my videos. Let's take a look at what we have here. You notice the bulk of the screen is this area here where we have these boxes. These are called cells. Every spreadsheet has a series of cells, and what it allows you to do is put data into these cells. It's kind of like a table in Microsoft Word or WordPerfect or something, uh, another word processor, where you can organize your information into different rows and columns. So you can see here we have some columns. This is column A. You'll notice the A at the top of the column. Here B column B, here C, column C. So these columns stretch across, and if I scroll across, I'll see a number of columns throughout my spreadsheet. So you have columns and you have rows. Rows are represented by numbers. And each intersection of a column and a row creates a cell. And each cell has a name, and it's denoted by the column and the row it's in. So if I click here on this cell, you'll see that it highlights column B and column 8, so this cell is named B8. And what I can do is I can add information. Now what kind of information would you want to add? Well that really depends on what you're trying to keep track of or what you're trying to use a spreadsheet for. As you learn more about spreadsheets, your world will open up into the use of them. The more you learn about them, the more you may find uh, different situations fit very well into a spreadsheet. As a teacher, I could maintain a gradebook in my spreadsheet. Um, as a dad, I could maintain a, a budget in my spreadsheet. I could take a look at uh, my bills and, and my income and see how that comes in, um, how it all formulates together. If you're an accounting major or you're studying accounting, uh, you should probably see a, a great a deal of worth in a spreadsheet because it's going to allow you to prepare a lot of your documents, income statements, balance sheets, worksheets, and it's going to allow you to organize that data. But more importantly, not only does the spreadsheet allow you to organize the data, but it also allows you to make calculations based on the data. So not only can I add values to a cell, but I can also tell a cell that it has to perform a calculation based on values or other cells. So let's take a look at that and see how that works. For example, let's say I am going to maintain a list of dollars that I am going to earn over the course of a week from my part-time job. So we could put in a label of day and then we'll put in the label of earn here in column C. And you can see here I'm actually 
putting them in different places so that I can uh, organize it. So here I'm going to put Monday. I'm just going to abbreviate for this particular lesson. And you notice here everything that I'm putting in is textual. So all of these are words, and Excel took the, the words just fine. If I wanted to, most spreadsheets allow me to format those things, so, so you'll recognize a lot of the toolbars and the menu options that you have in your spreadsheet. So if I wanted to make those bold, I could. If I wanted to change the fill color, I could. And all these options are really going to depend on which spreadsheet you're using. But I'm using Google Sheets, so these, these are the options that I have. So in here, in this column, because I'm organizing my spreadsheet this way, I'm going to add some values down column C. So Monday, what do I anticipate earning? Well, maybe I'm going to earn $15. Now you'll notice that when I put in $15, the spreadsheet formatted it to the right. Over here, when I added some textual information, it formatted it to the left. We'll talk about that in some other videos, but uh, you'll notice that it the spreadsheet picks up on the type of value that you enter and then it applies certain alignment or formatting to it. I'm going to add another value here, add $20. I'm going to hit enter and that goes down to the next cell. That's nice. And then I'm going to add another value. You're not making very much in this part-time job. Well, let's say we had a, a nice day on Thursday, and then on Friday, well, we really did a great job and earned a lot of money. So you'll see here that we entered some values. you notice that Excel, on the last one, where I entered $40.50, it chopped off the zero. And we'll take a look at that later. I apologize, I just said Excel. I really meant uh, Google Sheets. You'll find that after you've worked with one particular program for many, many years, it's it's very natural to actually use that term in, um, in reference to something else. And in fact, many people do actually call any spreadsheet an Excel spreadsheet. That's really just a, a generic term, spreadsheet. But anyway, you'll notice that it actually chopped off the zero, and that's because it felt like it should. And you recognize, and I recognize that this is money, but we'll have to see later on how we can actually tell the spreadsheet to format that appropriately. But the point of this um, time together is really just to show you how we're entering these values, but not only that, to show you how we can actually use the spreadsheet to make a calculation. And we'll go over this in detail in another session, but I just want to quickly show you how we could actually do this. We could actually type an equal sign, and then we could tell the spreadsheet to calculate these things. And I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on here in the future, but for now I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. And if you've ever worked with a spreadsheet before, uh, you'll notice that I'm not giving a whole lot away here, and that's fine. But when I hit enter, you'll notice that the spreadsheet actually added up all of these values. So not only is it nice to be able to organize my information, but I can actually enter data, and then I can enter calculations based on that data. So if I actually want to know the sum of my work week, I could enter a calculation there, and it would automatically calculate that. So that's a great feature of a spreadsheet, and that's why a lot of people dealing with finances use a spreadsheet to work with their data. However, you actually haven't seen the most powerful part of that. Not only did it calculate what I had here, but the greatest feature of a spreadsheet is not only that it will perform calculations, but it does perform them instantaneously and automatically. So, for example, let's say I made a mistake and Monday I did not earn $15, I actually earned $14. If I enter 14 here, watch closely at the bottom when I hit enter, you'll notice that C9 actually updated itself. So not only did it calculate the sum of all of these values at first, but it retained 
the formula that I had put in there and it added up all of those values regardless of what was in the cell. And any time any change was made on any of these cells, the spreadsheet automatically updated my sum. So that's a great feature of a spreadsheet, and that's most likely what we're going to spend most of our time taking a look at. So that's a little bit about a spreadsheet. We have all of these cells. We can add values to cells. We can add labels to cells. We can organize our information, and then we can also add some formulas that also calculate different values or statistics based on the data that I have entered into our spreadsheet. And over time, we're going to learn some of the different formulas that we can enter into our cells and some of the different calculations that we can perform. We'll also take a look at some of the other dynamic things that we can add to our spreadsheet as well, like charts and tables and sorting and different things of that nature. So that's a spreadsheet. We have cells in rows and columns. We have labels entered. We have data entered. We're organizing it so that it looks nice and organized. We're entering formulas into cells to actually calculate data. I will leave it to you to take a look at home on your computer to see if you have a spreadsheet. Uh, you can look for Microsoft Excel. You can look for some others as well. Um, you could also, if you have a Gmail account, log on to your Gmail, go to your Google Drive, and create a Google Sheet. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but for now, the video is going to conclude, and we'll move on to our next lesson.